I was dreaming about you and a letterpress. I dreamed you were the letter Z. Why Z? Two lines, us connected by a diagonal, Z. Oh, Dwight. If we are ever parted and can't recognize each other because of death or some other calamity, just say the letter Z to me. It will be our password. Z. Let's never be parted. I don't need more than 12 hours to know you. Jean, do you tell me you don't. We exchange little bits of our souls. I have a little of yours and you have a little of mine. Like a torn jacket. You gave me one of your buttons. I, I love you, Jean. Don't get that. It will just take a second. Hello? Hi, are you sitting down? This might come to a very great shock to you, but Gordon has passed away. Jean, who's on the phone? I'm sorry, who is this? A business colleague. The funeral was yesterday. It was a beautiful service. It isn't very, it was Catholic, so it isn't very personal. I'm so sorry, are you Catholic? Oh, good, I mean. Jean, come here. I'm on the phone. Yes, incoming? Oh, thanks. If you would like to offer your condolences, Probably the best way would to write to Hermione and Harriet Gottlieb. The address is 111 Shank Avenue. Jean! I'm on the phone! No. Sorry, I don't know anything about a living will. No. Sorry, I, I have to go, but I hope you have a pleasant day, despite the bad news. Goodbye. Who was that? Business colleague. I don't think you want to go get mixed up in that. Oh, Dwight, I'll be all right. I forbid you to talk to Gordon's colleagues. You forbid me? Get rid of the phone. Give it up, it's bad luck. It got me to you, didn't it? It's not good for you. Life is for the living. Me, you living. Life, life, life. If you answer that phone, Jean, if you what? answer that phone. What? I will, it will make me sad. Sometimes it seems like you don't even care about your own brother. Jean speaking. Hello? It's Hermia. She needs a ride home.